Well, welcome back to another epic adventure at Weaver Stone House Farms. And this time, well, we're fixing the old Cup Cadet Zero Turn. We're going to go ahead and put different valve covers on it. Um, they sealed up the hill pretty well for the RTV that I put on them a couple years ago. But we're switching over to the new style on the newer motors. Um, and these are they're plastic cover. We're going to give them a shot. But these are the factory ones. I bought the other ones, the other aftermarket ones too, the aluminum ones, but I figured I was gonna try the polar ones first. So, there's part number. Valve cover retrofit kit. Bolts. Yay! Rather than these stupid torques, these are T27 torques in case you're wondering to get them out. Okay, valve cover replacement kit. Stuff. Installation, remove stamps, steel valve covers. Clean the surfaces. Yeah, I got them cleaned up enough. They're pretty good. Put in the O-rings. You had to press those in, so it's push fit, which I did. Okay. Put appropriate cover on each cylinder head. Note that the valve cover with the hole must be on the correct side where it has that little breather, which is this one. This is a Kohler 7000 series. 22 horse. Torque valve cover to 80 inch pounds. I'm using the sequence. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five in the top corner. Where the exhaust pipe runs directly below the valve covers, install the heat deflectors. And, yep, that's probably what's doing it, is all the heat coming up. These are heat deflectors. Remove the two screws, securing. Huh. Okay, I'll have to get those in. That's why this is a good retrofit kit, because it has heat deflectors. Or bolts. Great. Okay, so we're going to call this on the driver's side of the motor. That was pretty easy to get in. Those are 10 millimeter bolts for that cover. And that would be for up here. Those two, they're 10 mils. Wasn't too bad. Valve covers in. The heat shield is there to help protect so it doesn't overheat and always lose the gasket. But that's what makes the gasket fail and also which will cause that plastic valve cover to fail. Um, yeah, let me slide over the other side and warn you. This is brutal. I didn't change this one because it wasn't leaking. So I'm going to leave it alone. Those 10 millimeter bolts that are back in underneath that exhaust on that little piece of metal, cut it out. Okay, so those two 10 millimeter holes that are in here and here. This bolt, if it comes out, is an absolute bear. Do not let it come out um, because there's no bend in this exhaust, then you'll be ripping the exhaust off and it's just horrible. What I wanna do is that hole, take a pair of uh, dykes, tin snips, and angle cut that metal so it's slotted. So you want a slot in it so you can just slip it on like a fork for both of those. So you want both of those holes slotted so you can just loosen the bolts up enough and then it slides in uh, underneath that bracket and you can tighten it up. That makes your life a whole lot easier. The cuts you're going to make are in the holes for the heat shield so it can slip around the bolts rather than you having to remove the bolts. So if that tip helped you, help us and hit subscribe and help us get to a thousand subscribers. Hey, and we'll see you next time on the farm.